Hey guys, it's Dr. Adam Nally. It's been a while, um, but I'm going live t with you today, and I thought I would uh, finish up the series on uh, why be in ketosis, 25 reasons to be in ketosis. Um, I have a break at lunchtime between patients, and so I thought I would talk to you a little bit about how ketosis affects the thyroid. We'll do one of these four-minute little shorts that we do, and I'll attach this to one of my blog posts that's coming out here uh, today. Um, one of the biggest questions that people ask me all the time uh, it, when I am seeing them or I'm talking or I'm live streaming, uh, it never fails. Uh, when I'm on live, live streaming and I'm talking about a ketogenic diet, somebody that I don't know asks, says, asks well, what about ketosis? Uh, what are ketones? Uh, and how, do they, how does that affect the thyroid? And the, the, the big question that seems to be on everybody's mind, no matter what I do and what I talk about, is, is how is the thyroid affected by what you're doing? Um, I think there's lots and lots of people that are really concerned about their thyroid, uh, and there's lots of thyroid issues that are out there. I see it all the time. So one of the things I wanted to answer, just in a real quick four to five minute short, is that ketosis actually dramatically helps the thyroid. Now, um, there's a lot of the paleo world and a lot of the vegetarian world decries ketosis. Then they say, oh, it's bad for you. It causes your thyroid to, to supp suppress. And it comes from a single study that showed a T4 level drop um, when they put you into ketosis in the initial few uh, weeks of ketosis. One of the important things to understand is that uh, insulin itself, the insulin hormone, when it's on in a, in a high presence, actually stimulates thyroid peroxidase. And now that's the antibody or the autoantibody that causes thyroiditis. So if you have really high insulin levels because you're insulin resistant, and those that are insulin resistant are producing between two and almost 20 times the normal amount of insulin in response to their starch or their glucose that they eat, you're producing huge amounts of insulin. That insulin is actually driving up one of the autoantibodies causing thyroiditis. Now, thyroiditis is an inflammation of the thyroid, and it can cause either over, uh, overstimulation or understimulation of the thyroid, and I see both arise. But the key is lowering that thyroid, the insulin hormone, to turn down that autoantibody issue that's arising with the thyroid. The second thing is about 60% of people who have insulin resistance have leptin resistance as well, meaning the high fructose and the high triglycerides stimulate the high fructose in their diet and high triglycerides from the high insulin being produced makes it hard for leptin to cross the blood-brain barrier. Leptin is a hormone in the gut that actually tells your body you're full, tells your brain you're full. And one of the big issues is that when the body is not getting the leptin signal, that leptin signal has to go up. Well, leptin actually inhibits thyroid function and actually dampers the conversion of T3 to T4 or changes the increases the conversion of T4 to T3. Pardon me, I said that backwards. So T4 gets more rapidly converted to T3 when leptin is present in a higher amount. And so you'll naturally, in a person who's insulin resistant and leptin resistant, see a shift uh, in that period of time uh, of a lowering of T T4 because of that. Now, as leptin heals, that gets better. But the key for helping the thyroid is really a ketogenic diet. Um, and so if you read the blog post, I'm going to attach this to it. It'll give you a little more detail on that. But that's the real important component to understand is that the ke a ketogenic diet is the only diet that really helps to support um, your thyroid function. Paleo doesn't do it. V vegetarianism doesn't do it. Low calorie doesn't do it. DASH doesn't do it. They actually make it worse because of the fact that the insulin stays high uh, and leptin still may stay high be because of um, the, the challenges with fructose being present and, and or triglycerides still remaining high. So that's the four minute short from Dr. Nally. Uh, part number 12 on the 25 reasons to why to be in ketosis. Hope all's well. Hey, Angelique. And I just am seeing people pop on here. I know there's a delay. Uh, hello, Mandy. Um, and I uh, hope everyone's good. Again, I'm Dr. Adam Nally. I'm a board-certified family physician and a board-certified medical bariatrician or obesity doctor, a fat doctor. Go to, my, go to my new and improved website at docmuscles.com. You can register there for this 25-part series. When it's finished, we'll send that out to you uh, and register for all the other cool uh, details that are there. Um, one other thing you may want to do really to, to, to as well, and I would encourage you to do this, is because we're going to start doing some giveaways with this. If I can find him. Oh, no, I lost, I lost him. Uh, he disappeared. Uh, oh, there he is. Give me one second, and I'm going to show you. This is, uh, for those of you that are on there, um, this is Bacon Boy. I wanted to introduce Bacon Boy. Um, Bacon Boy is, you can actually print him off. I laminated mine. Um, but Bacon Boy is going to travel with me, and uh, Bacon Boy has his own page. Uh, and we're going to actually start picking the best places Bacon Boy visits, the most unique, the funniest, uh, the, uh, and start doing some giveaways. So uh, this week, uh, wherever Bacon Boy travels to, if you post it on your um on your blog or on your on your Facebook uh, or on your Instagram, uh, there's some instructions uh, that they'll print off with it and tell tell us about how to post it so we can see it. And then once we see it, uh, we'll we'll do a giveaway um, and uh, start making some really cool prizes for, to see where Bacon Boy travels because Bacon Boy travels with me. He's my he's kind of my sidekick. So have a great have a great afternoon. Hope all is well. Keep the fat high. Keep the carbs low. This is Dr. Adam Nally signing off from Surprise, Arizona, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye bye.